Hi, everyone, and welcome to Royal Doc Allen Podcast. I'm excited to welcome the program, Royal Doc Allen Lindemann. Doc, what's going on, man? How are you? We're doing well here, Neil, and you? Fantastic. And today's topic, how to protect and preserve bone health over time. What is osteoporosis? Well, the bone, believe it or not, bones are very active. They're not like the, um, the wood of a chair, but they, they have two components that are really important. One is uh, osteoblasts, and that's the building part of bones. The other one is osteoclasts, and those are the part of the bone that eats up the old bone. So you constantly have old bone being removed and new bone being placed. And when you have osteoporosis, it's a result of not enough new bone replacement. Who is most at risk for osteoporosis? Well, the thin uh, Caucasian female who is inactive, who has had an early menopause, and who smokes. How common is osteoporosis? Well, it is said that about 50% of women will have osteoporosis, and many of them will have um, fractures. And when they have fractures, uh, a third of them will wind up in the nursing home, a third of them will wind up in the funeral home, and one third will go back home. So we spend about $57 billion a year treating fractures of osteoporosis. What medications are given to reduce bone loss? Well, the magic word is bisphosphonates. Now, they've been around for probably 30 or 40 years. The oldest one is Fosamax, that's the once a day. But Fosamax is now off the market. It has to do with the necrosis of the jaw. And the reason it's off the market is because Merck, the company that makes Fosamax, did not declare to the public this risk of necrosis of the jawbone. Necrosis means dying. So you don't need to have your jawbone die. And the best place to go is worlddocallen.com and safepregnancy.com. Appreciate it, Doc. Thanks, Neil. All right, that was the World Doc Allen Podcast, guys. Take care.